looking at images like that, no doubt we live in one of the most beautiful places in the world. For sure, hands down. And we need to savor that natural beauty as best as we can, right? So today, I'm talking to an organization helping us do just that. It is our kuleana to take care of all the natural beauty that makes Hawaii paradise. Here to tell us more about an organization that is helping us do just that, we have Tamara Rigney, founder of Treehoo. <laughs> Hi, Tamara. Good morning. Hi, Mikey. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you so much. What a fun name for an organization, Treehoo. Can you let all of our viewers know who don't know about Treehoo? what you're all about and how you guys got started? Yeah, so Treehoo is actually the title of our campaign and our organization is called Hawaii Neighborhood Forest, but we've become known as Treehoo. <laughs> kind of our mission is to use marketing and community outreach to inspire the people of Hawaii to care for and plant more trees in our neighborhoods. You might look around and think that we have a lot of trees. If you drive down Kapilani Boulevard, you go to the park, but our Urban tree canopy is actually really low and it's shrinking every year. So we want to encourage people to reverse this. I love that. And I love how you guys are encouraging everybody to come out of their house, of course, you know, staying safe and just yeah. uh, to help to help the local community. Now, what inspired you to start the organization Tree Who? Being in Kaka'ako so much, having Heiko down here in our studio, there's not a lot of trees down here. And after a while, I was like, you know, we have to take this into our own hands. We can't blame it on the developers. We can't always blame it on the city. Like, we need to get out there and start doing stuff in our own yards and in our own neighborhoods. Because um, that's where the biggest impact is going to be made. That's so amazing. we just want to inspire and do this in a positive way. Do you guys accept volunteers if they wanted to come out and help out with the organization in any way? So right now, we're not currently set up to do planting. Um, so we aren't actively accepting volunteers, but we are accepting photo and video submissions on Instagram. Um, our main method, method right now is just sharing stories of people that are living their best lives with trees or planting new trees or doing stuff in your neighborhood. Um, so the best way right now to help us would be through social media. And you can find us um, on Instagram at treehoo. Tree with three O's. <laughs> I love that. Instagram at tree who, T R E E H O O. Or do you guys also have a website? Yes, and that's just treehoo.org. Treehoo.org. Yeah. Samra, thank you so much for talking with me today. Congratulations on everything that you guys are doing. And hopefully, we can all come out and plant yeah. some trees together, right? We're looking forward to next year and we want to plant trees. We want to do a lot of community art and we'll put the word out when we are ready for volunteers to help us. So thank you, Mikey. Thank you. True. <laughs> I love that name. That might be the best name of a group that we featured that I've ever heard, I think. I, I really wanted to interview Tamara because the name just got me saying it for a few days. Mm -hmm. But I've also been seeing a lot of millennials and Generation Zers um, pre-COVID talking about this organization. And I know they've been um, putting a lot of it on their social media because it gets a lot of likes. So if you want to get a lot of likes, volunteer and plant a tree. All right. We'll have <laughs> information on our website. We're going to feature a